Frida's story, when domestic violence hits home. Frida and David had met on a dating app during the COVID-19 pandemic, a time where people were forced to spend more time indoors and rely on technology for social interaction. Both of them had been in abusive relationships in the past, and they were looking for someone who could understand them and provide the support they needed. Over the course of a year, Frida and David communicated regularly, sharing their past experiences and their hopes for the future. They talked about everything from their favorite movies and books to their deepest fears and insecurities. Despite the distance between them, they formed a strong emotional connection. Finally, after a year of talking, they decided to meet in person. Frida was excited but nervous. She had never met anyone from a dating app before, and she didn't know what to expect. When she saw David for the first time, she was struck by his good looks and his charming smile. They hugged and talked for hours, and she felt like she had finally found someone who understood her. However, there were warning signs that she chose to ignore. On their first date, David had a black eye and smelled like he had been heavily drinking alcohol. When Frida asked him what had happened, he shouted at her and grabbed her arms violently, telling her he did not want to talk about it. She was taken aback by his sudden outburst, but decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. The next night, David moved in with Frida and her ten-year-old son. She thought that things would get better with David around, but they only got worse. He became possessive and controlling, manipulating her into doing things she didn't want to do. She couldn't have contact with her friends or family, and she became a slave within her own household. David started physically, verbally, and mentally abusing Frida and eventually her son. She tried to make excuses for him, thinking that he was just going through a tough time and that he would change eventually. Her best friend tried to convince her to leave David, but Frida refused to listen. She was in love with him, and she couldn't imagine life without him. One day, David beat Frida so badly that she had to be hospitalized. Even after he threatened her and her son's life, she still chose to stay with him. But the turning point in Frida's life was the day David put his hands on her ten-year-old son. She lost it and that was the day she fought back. The ten-year-old feared that his mother would be injured badly. He called 911 and his grandparents. The things Frida did not know about David were that he had a criminal past and he was wanted by the law. After David was arrested, Frida and her son managed to regain control of their lives. It was a difficult road, but they were able to move forward and rebuild their lives. Frida's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of ignoring warning signs in a relationship. She had a gut feeling that something was off with David, but she chose to ignore it because she was in love with him. She was willing to put up with his abusive behavior because she thought that he would change eventually. But the reality is that abusers rarely change. And staying in an abusive relationship can have deadly consequences. The lesson that we can learn from Frida's story is that it's important to trust our instincts and pay attention to warning signs in a relationship. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. It's also important to have a support system in place, whether it's friends, family, or a therapist. These people can provide us with the emotional support we need to leave a dangerous situation and move on with our lives. Poem, Domestic Violence, I Love You to Death by Reuben White I love you to death, but what does that mean? Am I willing to die, just to keep you on the scene? We were meant to be together, or so I thought at first. But now I see the truth, and it's a blessing, not a curse. You are my world, but I realize that's not healthy. I need to have my own life, and you need to do the same, stealthy. Jealousy consumes us both, and it's tearing us apart. We need to learn to trust. And give each other our heart. Abuse should never be tolerated, no matter how much we love. We need to respect each other, and rise above. So let's redefine our love, and make it strong and true. With trust, respect, and support, our love will see us through.